many issues surrounding our oceans, plastic pollution is definitely one of them. Plastic bags, which we thought to be convenient and helpful, are in reality choking our oceans. Once pristine seas are now just a giant plastic soup. Not only does it look bad, but it's also deadly. Every year, plastic pollution kills more than 100,000 marine creatures, and there's no improvement in sight. And don't assume for a minute that we humans are immune. Our discarded rubbish is coming back to haunt us. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a collection of marine debris in the North Pacific Ocean. Marine debris is litter that ends up in oceans, seas and other large bodies of water. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is located in the North Pacific Ocean and consists of the Western Garbage Patch, which is near Japan, and the Eastern Garbage Patch, which is in between the US states of Hawaii and California. Continuous research has shown that the size of the patch is somewhere between the size of the state of New South Wales to double the size of Queensland or even larger than Australia. Marine debris can be very harmful to all marine life. Sea turtles mistake plastic bags for jellyfish which they would then eat. Albatross mistake plastic pellets for fish eggs and feed them to chicks who subsequently die of starvation or burst organs. Marine mammals are especially at risk from abandoned fishing gear that creates traps for sea animals. Though we are now focusing on the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in the North Pacific Ocean, there are many other threats to this habitat, including climate change, overfishing, pollution from sewerage and ocean acidification. Plastic pollution is one of the major issues threatening the North Pacific Ocean. According to statistics, around 100 million tonnes of plastic are produced each year, of which about 10 million tonnes end up in the sea. About 80% of it comes from the land. The problem isn't with the production of plastic. Plastic is great, it's useful, convenient. But the problem lies with how people dispose of it. There are many ways individuals can help to make a difference. These can include being responsible for all of your trash on land and in the water, disposing of items properly, and getting involved. Participate in the local cleanup in your area. For example, Clean Up Australia Day encourages people to clean up the rubbish in their area. We can also help by reducing the amount of waste people produce and reusing items whenever possible. Recycling as much as possible, especially bags, bottles and caps, cans, cell phones, ink cartridges and many other items that can be recycled. Groups and organisations have a vital role in taking a stance and have the responsibility to promote recycling and correct disposal of products, in particular plastic products. This can be done by providing designated areas where people can correctly dispose of plastic. They also play a vital role in helping to clean up our oceans. For example, the Ocean Cleanup, an organisation run by Boy and Slut, a 20-year-old boy who developed a special barrier that can be used to collect rubbish and prevent it from spreading further into the ocean. They can also promote recycling and correct disposal of products, in particular plastic products and also promote the use of reusable containers in lieu of disposable bags, such as snap-lock bags for food packaging. An example is the Cash for Containers program that runs in South Australia, which has significantly increased the state's amount of recycling. Governments can set up a day dedicated to individuals cleaning up rubbish, like the Clean Up Australia Day, which take place every year. People can take initiative and help reduce waste produced in their country. If many countries take this idea on board, the amount of waste around the world will reduce. They can also raise awareness, mainly through television and radio advertisements, where they can stress the issue of plastic waste. Furthermore, enforcing correct plastic recycling in national legislation will ensure that people are aware of this issue and take appropriate action. Do you want our beautiful pristine seas coming into plastic sludge? Do you want to see poor, innocent marine life slowly becoming extinct because of our wasteful lifestyle? Do you want to see our world becoming a plastic dump? Sir David Attenborough once said, our obsession with plastic is choking to death some of the most spectacular animals on the planet. We have to act and we have to act fast. So take a stance, use plastic wisely and give the animals a chance.